So you will have to excuse the uh, quality of the message recording on my phone again. I thought while I'm in the garden I'll just show you what I've got going. So these are my uh, some calcium onions. Not huge but um, they're all getting pretty decent. Buy some tomatoes at the bottom there. Uh, another saying of spring onions there. Um, spare carrots and then spare watermelons. I've probably done my best which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, some more comfrey, uh, lettuce, and if I could bring you up here, the red gooseberry, uh, the two blueberries, which I think are actually fruiting. They're flowered anyway, but whether they turn to fruit is a different question. Uh, some onions and my grapevine, and right at the top there is the peas. Yeah, I have to get on ladders to each end. This is only a, a little temporary basis thing. The other half wasn't too impressed when I put it up. So, uh, I'll show you up top first. I've started some herbs here. That's basil, uh, mint, and I think coriander, I'm sure it was. Yeah, still waiting on those. Uh, these were on clearance 50p from the verb the other day. And the only thing was that these are the water basically. Some of the leaves are a bit damaged. They were all drooped over and really bad, but then I seen the amount of flowers that they've actually got. And I got them back, basically submerged them in a, um, submerged them in a tub of water and high presto. Six pound BQ strawberries for 50p. So I've got 12 strawberries for a pound. Bargain. Um, to be clear, if you're watching, these are the cucumbers, the not as big ones. So I will show you the ones down there in a minute. Uh, so they locked me down these the other day and I thought they were quite interesting They're called sweet pea Tomatoes apparently they grow tomatoes which are just really small. They're like um, Currants like black currants and that but they're tomatoes and the flavors are really small as you can see but I've good things off here to give me two so I'll see how they're doing These are my Charleston grey um, watermelons these are the big uh, oblong kind of ones. Um, over here, we have the red skin peppers, which are the sweet peppers. Um, that one's got the, no, sorry, this one's got the best flavor on so far, I mean fruit. Then we have the big gym, which isn't quite as big as the dramatic zoom out then, but uh, it's just about starting to flavor now. Followed by the sugar baby watermelons. These are the little watermelons which are made for growing over in the UK. Uh, the flare red dendrum in the back there. Very nice. Up the top here, uh, these are the chilies. They're super hot F1. In the middle here is my Carolina Reaper. I did cheat. I put this as a plug because mine didn't make it, but that's my Reaper. Then the sweet colour spectrum mixed bell peppers and to the end here the last ones are my french carrot beans which are just spares uh, i'll sure i'll find somewhere for those right to down here the list goes on of tomatoes that's a gardener's delight tomato then you've got two samazinas there um two rutgers there from ray and uh, that's a box car really uh, that's a money maker at the back there. Another gorgeous delight there. Followed by a uh, Rutgers, I think that is. And then another box car willy there. My cucumber are doing terrible. They just seem to be stunted, they don't seem to be moving much. And then the last bits down here uh, the chilies and peppers, just another mix. And then these are my cucumber melons, which are in the, the final pots. Then hopefully they'll climb up this. Uh, just old staging so I'll just take you um, outside now and I'll show you the potatoes and then some fruit trees that I've got going so see you in a second so outside the greenhouse now these are the um, banana shallots zebrun shallots followed here by the golden bush courgette and the green bush at the back there uh, I got this from the other day, the B&Q This is uh, a Golden Wonder Golden Wonder 
golden delicious apple as you can see it's a it's a pretty fair size really lush foliage and loads of new growth coming out so i paid 15 pounds for that so it might have been a bit much but i'm quite happy with that this is the best view you can get of the potatoes they're basically overgrown all the fun to my greenhouse and i think there's two there's probably about six or seven pots in there i think all in all but it's just a sea of green at the moment um to you over here the italian striped kind of courgette that one is strawberries you can't see basically these are all just currant bushes i've got there and then apple at the back uh, this one's the cherry and then the plum uh, they're doing quite well um, over at the back shelf if you can just about see that no, it's just some reject things other than the fox at the back there is the reject shelf and no one wants to see that so yeah that's it from the garden i'm not going to take you through a lot of them because pretty much everything is just you know going as you already expected to be going so thanks for watching take care